This will be it then. The main tower. We need it to open the gates. When the gates open, the bridge comes down. We all know there's no way out except over that bridge. What are you figuring? 12.15 tomorrow. You're crazy. That's just why we've got a chance. This takes timing, planning. No. The longer you wait, the longer the odds. Somebody cools off, another guy stalls, a third guy can't keep his mouth shut. No, for us it's now. We hit him hard, fast, suddenly we make it. If there's one film technique that nearly every viewer notices, it's probably acting. Tomorrow. Both critics and ordinary audiences comment freely on the performances they see, calling one realistic, another too subdued, another over the top. If we want to understand film performance, though, it helps to dig deeper and analyze how the actors use their tools and how the director and other artisans shape the performances through the medium of cinema. The actor starts with real life behavior. We all talk, gesture, move around. But the actor must select only certain pieces of normal behavior and then control those, amplifying some and playing down others. In turn, what the actor develops will be enhanced by film techniques like lighting, framing, cutting, and composition. The final result, while grounded in real behavior, might not turn out to be terribly realistic. What makes you drunk? Power? In one climactic scene of Brute Force, a drunken Doc Walters tells Munzee that he realizes he's a power-hungry sadist. In real life, that challenge would probably take place with the two men confronting each other face to face. Here, though, they talk practically cheek to cheek. You better stop drinking, doctor. Your imagination's working overtime. A huge frontal close-up makes us confront both of them. Doc peers at Munzee suspiciously while Munzee evades his eyes. Real people are unlikely to behave this way. But the scene is predicated on facial signals we know very well how to read, and its expressive force overtakes its lack of realism. I doubt that audiences even notice how artificial it is. You talk to me like that. If I didn't keep you here, you'd be starving, you surgical butcher. For me, it's the last stop anyway. But for you, it's just a beginning, isn't it? <laughs> 